Does JavaScript pass parameters by value or by reference? So the question here is, when you pass the variable a to the function foo as a parameter, are you passing by value or are you passing by reference? And the quick answer to this is that passing primitive types such as strings, numbers, booleans are passed by value and objects are passed by reference. And that's fine, that is actually the correct answer. But if you gave me that answer immediately, I would then ask a follow on question, which would be something along the lines of, so explain to me what pass by value is and what is pass by reference. Because I want to know that you haven't just memorized this answer and you do have a deeper understanding of what's going on. So let me explain pass by value first. So what this means is that if you change the value of a primitive type inside a function, the changes won't affect the variable in the outer scope. Okay, so the var a here is the outer scope and inside the function is the function scope or the inner scope. So if a is equal to one and one is a primitive type and I console log a on the outside and actually also have to call foo with a, okay, let me bring up the console, save and refresh. So you can see here on line a and printing a and because a is equal to one at the top, it's just printing one. But if within the foo function, I then change a to two. So I set a to one, I then call foo. So I then set a to two, I then console log a at the end. If I then refresh, it's still printing out one. And that's because for primitive types, when they're passed in to foo, they are passed by value. And a way of thinking about what passed by value means is that really it's passing a copy of a, not a here, but a copy of a. So anything you do to a inside the body of this function won't affect this a here because you pass in a copy of that a and not the actual a variable. And that even is valid if we have another primitive type. So if uh, a is equal to true, and then we change a to false inside a function, it will still print true because again, a is a primitive. And when a gets passed to a function because it's a primitive, we pass in a copy of a. So that's passed by value. What is passed by reference? So when you're passing something by reference, you're passing something that points to something else versus a copy of the object. So since with JavaScript passing in an object passes it by reference, when you change a property of that object from within the function, the change will be reflected in the outer scope. So let me show you. So if A was an object and then we changed a property of A to A dot mu is equal to, well, let's make that equal to false. And then let me refresh that. There you go. You can see when we're logging A here, it's logging an object with mu is equal to false with a, uh, with a key of mu with a value of false. And that's because with an object, and A is now an object, when you pass an object into a function, you're not passing in a copy, you are passing in something that points, that really does point to the A object. So when you change a property of that object, you actually are changing a property of the A object in the outer scope. So when you we print out that A object, we are printing out the A object with the changes from the foo function applied. However, let me just change a bit of code here. So if I did moo2, let's say I changed a to moo2, and then within the function, instead of changing a property of a, I actually changed exactly what a pointed to. So let's just say made a point to another object with a key of two and a value of moo. So what would this print out? So if I refresh the page, you can see it's printing out mu2, which is the value of the variable a in the outer scope and not what we tried to replace a with. So in JavaScript, when we say we pass by reference, we can't then change what a points to. So if you passed in a, you can't change what it points to. We can only change a property of a to something else or add a property or change a property. We cannot change what A points to. So the question was, does JavaScript pass parameters by value or by reference? The answer is it passes primitive types such as strings, numbers, and Booleans by value, and it passes objects by reference. But then the interview will always dig deeper and ask you to explain what is passed by value and passed by reference. So it's really important you get a good grasp of this concept so you can talk about it confidently in an interview.